Hi, welcome to the dollhouse. Hello. Hi. Okay, so before we get started, we would like to raise our glasses of Sawreel, which we'll explain to you what it is in a second, yes. to our four new subscribers, Miss Musafa24. Yay! Yay! Aretha32. Yay! Thanks, Miss Aretha. Griselis1. You said, yes, okay. That's what I said. I, I just said it with my grr. Okay. I hope that's how you say it. It sounds really exotic. It, it does. Griselis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Miss Mahogany D04. That sounds like a cell block. Thank you. Thank Don't listen to her. I'm sorry. <laughs> It does so. Thank you, Miss Mahogany. Thank you. We appreciate it. Okay, so about sorrow. Sorrow. Would you like to tell them what what it consists of? Well, first of all, we're in the midst of sorrow right now because we're in Northport with our parents. We're visiting. Yes. And sorrow is a Jamaican beverage that my dad makes. Yes. Mm. Any Jamaican can make, but my dad. It's awesome. He makes the best sorrow and, and the, the best, best jerk chicken. chicken. Ever in your life. Ever. Change your life. Sorrel is a plant. It grows it grows mainly in the winter time. That's why it's kind of like the drink of choice. During are you serious? Damn. During the winter time. Anyway. And you kind of I think you like you beat the sorrel up and and, and it pulverizes it and you get juice out of it. Exactly. And you mix it with ginger. Jamaican white rum, mm. and yeah, basically that's how you. It feels get... sweet, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was like the white Taurus, the Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what it sorrow is really, 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 really delicious. So yeah, we drink to you. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Okay, so um. Before we go any further, we want to talk about our hair real quick because um, we know that's probably one of the reasons why you come and visit us. Right now, I am rocking a twist and curl. See, lots of twists, lots of curls. Very nice. Done using Lotta Body um, leave in and. Oh, setting lotion too, is it? Yeah, the setting lotion. It's Lotta Body setting lotion. I'm sorry. And um, <clears throat> water, and I mix it all with olive oil and just shake the bottle and then I spritz my hair with it and then I set it. That way it doesn't get like really crispy when I take them out. So the hold is there, but the moisture is there as well. So yeah, that's that's how I did my hair today. If you guys want me to do a tutorial, I totally will. If you don't, I'll do one anyways, now. <laughs> uh, and my look, it didn't really come out the way I expected it to because I didn't really braid my hair very well last night into small individual braids. Stop it because I'm trying to steal the rest of my style. Because I was really tired last night. So what I did is I just put raw shea butter, you know how you warm it between your hands so that it, you know, can move through your hair better, easier. So I put the raw shea butter in my hair along with Cantu shea butter and I did my hair in like probably three individual braids, which is why it's so poofy now. It's not really defined. And I uh, I rolled the sides. Tanika says it looks like half done. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. It looks half done. It kind of was supposed to have that effect to it, but it's like a remix to my side swept do that I usually do. So it looks very nice. Thank you. Very very nice. Okay. Okay. So, um, on to today's topic. The topic you've been waiting for. The topic we're ready to do. If you hide out of the shot one more time to take a sip of liquor. Well, I don't I don't know how professional it looks like you go 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, you, hey. know, <laughs> you see? And you was the one who was saying I shouldn't put in hooray beer. <laughs> Look at you. I was I'm doing that more for copyright issues, but whatever. Oops. Mm -hmm. So much for that. <laughs> Anyways, so, so to welcome in our discussion, which is going to be power pussy mm -hmm. and dumb dick. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And to welcome that in. Do, 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 do
Now we know what you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. The, really, this is a problem. You freaks. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Chick fil A advertising they milkshake. <laughs> that bring all the girls to the yard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're the best <laughs> part. Free. Yes. <laughs> yes. Recession. <laughs> Get it for free. That's how it is. Free is for me. Mm. So that's how we're gonna welcome in our topic today. <gasps> that was our little prop, self-made. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, again, copyright. Our mom is I know, gonna right? be so mortified. Okay, so yeah, um, she could probably hear us right now. Anyway, I know she's probably in there shaking her head, just waiting for us to come through the door. Okay, oh, yeah. no, he's coming. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do this before he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first one, power pussy. What is it? Power pussy is when a woman uses her choo choo, her jungle gym, you know, the goods, milk and cookies, mm -hmm. cash and prizes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When she uses that to get ahead in the game. So we're talking professional, political. Um, just social status, you know, when she uses her sexual prowess in the bedroom to um, strategically place her in um, certain situations, if you will. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, wanted to talk about that because we've been noticing that it's actually becoming more and more okay, which is really sad. It's becoming more and more okay to, to, to do that. And there are younger girls who are coming up who think that it's cool to do that too because they're seeing, you know, older girls, girls our age even, that are doing it now. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really, really sad. It's a never ending cycle. It's a sad cycle, seriously. Um, so we just want to talk about seriously now. <laughs> Is it really okay? Seriously. Well, being that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, we feel that it's not okay. That's not okay. If if you're really that independent, that sharp, that fly, that good on your own two feet by yourself and you don't need no man, because a lot of times women that use their cookies to get what they want feel like they do it because they can and they're women and they're powerful and they don't need a man, then why? Why, why are you showing your choo-choo for it then? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you have a brain, and you want to be on an equal playing field, that's that's what really confuses me. If you want to be on an equal playing field, you can't do something different from the dude to get there, and then expect to be on a, get the same amount of respect. Exactly. When you get there, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Cause now, now we all know how you got to the top. We don't take you seriously, because if you had something more to offer, you would have put that in the forefront instead of putting your goods and services in the forefront. So, you know, I, yeah, that's kind of where we stand that's with kind that. Of, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Go to school. If you guys are strong, independent, fabulous, fierce, sexy women, you should make him sweat for it. Make him lose sleep. Yes. And when he's just that close and you're really thinking about letting him have some, let him smell it first and then let him wait another month. You sound really angry when he said that. I'm just saying, make him I work you for make that him in your work soul and your spirit. I do. I do. This <laughs> is great A. Okay? I'm just saying. Sweat. You know, make him work for it. You can't expect Gosh. him. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. Put his left testicle on auction just so he can get at it. I'm just saying. Church. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how we feel about that. Next subject that's that we really want to painful. talk about is um, mm. dumb dick. Mm. This is a favorite for us, you yes. know, because because we <laughs> our minds are blown by this. Yes, all the t all the time. Both of us actually have friends who go through this like right now, and we're just kind of like, 
But smart, intelligent Dude, women that's, also that's go thing. through dumb No, but that's what I'm talking faces, about. Like, our friends, they're not stupid. Which I know stupid. nothing about. <laughs> because it's so hard. If <laughs> you, know, you go bring the past up. That's what you know, I'm just saying. So, so yeah, I mean, like, let's give him a definition of dumb dick. Dumb dick is when a dude lays down pipe so intensely serious that a woman completely loses her mind, like her, and just stays with it, just, just stays with him for all of his garbage, just because he's good in bed. Like, oh, I'm so unhappy. I'm talking. We can't talk anything out. We don't have any communication. Sometimes he hits me. He's disrespectful. I know he loves me. I've caught him cheating and he didn't even stop when I walked in. Dumb dick. Seriously? That's what that is. At what point? Like, what does he really need to do? You know what I'm saying? And I I mean, like... Dumb dick isn't easy to give, though. You, That's a lot of energy on the guy's part. He got to put in a lot of... I'm just going to drink right now and I'm just... I'm not even... Mm. <laughs> but like seriously though if you if you really think about it, it for for what the guy is doing first of all I'm I'm not like you know any sort of you know Karma Sutra you know like love guru I don't know I who haven't, is Karma Sutra I haven't, did you ever like look through those books I haven't <laughs> been I haven't been around the block enough times to say that I know from my experience with the opposite sex mm. that you can get more than one mm. that gives you the same amount of joy and pleasure. So just keep looking and you'll find a guy who is nice to you and will have like wonderful sex with you. I married him. She got lucky. I got lucky. She got lucky. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, to give a guy's penis. That, that much power, like, like for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, damn, what about yours? Men fight wars over vaginas, and you're sitting here losing sleep over some dude with hairy balls, sweaty hairy balls at that. Maybe you if he should lay down never. Good pipe, maybe he take care of his stuff though, and maybe you know, like you he wax it up because he never. Always ever let a man with sweaty balls have that much power over your fabulous sexy self you shouldn't don't do it she just called him sweaty don't let some dude have that much power over you he says you're fat oh well, well i'm gonna take this fat ass somewhere else you don't sit there and waste your time on some sorry dude who doesn't even know your worth. And if you don't know your worth, you can't how expect him do you to. expect him to? You really can't. People only treat you like you want to be treated, like you allow them to treat you. Exactly. A man will only treat you like you allow them to treat you. Do not lay there and stay there because, you know, cocky make you smile for nothing. Like... There's lots out there, and the last time I checked, men aren't really hesitating to give it away. So yeah. if you're just with them for that, believe me, you can you can go elsewhere. You got your priorities all wrong. Yeah, you you can yeah yeah. I mean, you, seriously, you can't go elsewhere and find you somebody who's really nice for you. Mm -hmm. That's how we feel about that. It is. Yeah. yeah. So um. That's our little spiel. Don't let somebody hit you in exchange for a dumb dick. Yeah, basically. don't don't do that. Or it's, treat you it's, less than how you deserve to be treated. Unless he's hitting you with that dick. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do see, that. See, because that's do exactly that. what you're don't, speaking to. Don't do that. Don't do you that. You see why I was like, it's so hard, though? <laughs> you so see, because hard. you always tend to go back to the fact it's that so it is hard. good. But don't, it's so I mean. Hard. You know, he pisses you off, and y'all having a really bad fight, and then he gives you the bad advice, and be like, let's, let's go. Let's go talk about it in the back. Let's, let's let me talk to you. Yeah. So show, you show go you back. Show you, you, you know, you you decide you're going to go out there and just you know give him a piece of your mind, the old what for, and then you come back off. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. All out of breath, you don't know what. I to love do. him so much. Oh, I love him so the much. Nipple coming out the left side of your shirt, but it's Is actually it? the right nipple that comes out <laughs> the left side of your shirt. <laughs> You know, all dismantled and stuff. Let mm. him go. Let it go. It ain't Let that serious. Let him go. It's serious, but it ain't that serious. Let him go. 
you're better than that, you're more beautiful than that, and you deserve much, much, much more. That's all we have to say about that. So until next time, see you later. Five, four, three, two. You just counted off. I sure did.